Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Adventures of Kramer. So I check almost every day or every other day on the advanced section of the app and try and see if there's been any kind of updates to the app or to the router or anything like that, like on like the dish. And so I noticed this morning though that they did update the router and trying to run, see some different speed tests, see if I see anything different. So let's get started. Nice slow ping. Oh, downloads have increased back again, back up to normal. Had been for quite a while there of only having the like 80 to 110 megabits per second on the down. Nice to see that down going to 165. At least that's gone back to normal. Nice low ping though, the 29 milliseconds upload. Right just shy of that 15. So definitely nice to be able to help see that. Okay, so I just ran a test on speedtest.net, um, the one by Ookla. So I always run the CenturyLink server. There's been a, a new update. We're gonna try and help run this at least two more times, try and get at least three going on there. But seeing a nice 121 down with the 12 up and a 24 on the ping, so it's a really nice low ping there. I think it's hilarious on some of the different commercials though that I keep seeing here for HughesNet on saying that they have unlimited internet, but it's like no hard limits, which just means that once you hit your cap for the month, then you get shut down lower. So here we go, let's try this again. So 31 millisecond ping. See what the download comes up at. Seventy-nine. So the latency seems to be doing real good. Um, it's odd. I, I've I've done some mobile version tests here, and I've seen it all the way up to like one sixty. So it's odd. The upload staying nice and consistent. The download is what's dropped here a little bit recently. So try that one more time. So still doing great on the ping. The pings, the latency definitely seems to be lower. So I'm not sure if this update, this update was just for the router though. So I'm not quite sure what they would have done for changing. I haven't seen anything significant difference. All right, let's go ahead and try fast.com. See what we have here. I have it set to be able to show the metrics for download and upload. So download. Definitely still at those lower levels. What we got here. 30 millisecond on the latency. Loaded that unloaded latency is always super high. And you know what? I've noticed that on sometimes on games that shows up a little bit, but then I also see that kind of latency drop compared to my previous point-to-point uh, -point wireless um, whenever trying to like upload videos on some different pieces it definitely it struggles a little bit more still doing really good though let's do it one more time here so definitely looking in the 80s so latencies definitely have been dropping. So that's really nice to be able to see. I want to see if that stays consistent on some of the other stuff. Uploads dropping a little bit here. Okay. Okay. So doing it through Google speed test. So 
85.5 on the down, which is real nice. So definitely just a little bit above 10 megabits on up. So definitely seeing a lot lower latency across everything. So that's really nice to do it one more time. Then we start trying to do some tests on some of the different game consoles, see if there's any type of changes to NAT types. Wonder if Starlink has any type of like automated stuff for checking on internets. And they're like, why in the world is this guy running so many speed tests? <laughs> downloads dropping a little bit but definitely real nice low on the latency so that's really good to see uploads come back up just a little bit there let's go ahead and start doing some checks on game consoles here we go let's try and see if we can get found out here real quick net type is what i want to find out on the playstation i already know xbox has been open but i'll double check that one still So updating the router hasn't changed the NAT type. Still pretty decent though for PlayStation to be able to kind of pull those speeds. And here we go, let's test out the Xbox real quick here. Did just see on the previous screen that it was open, but just in case. Okay, so it's 63 down, 15 up, so that's actually pretty nice on the upload speeds there for Xbox. Significantly better than the PlayStation, even though they're connected to the exact same network. Latency was super high though, 161. Hmm. I mean, that's still good, but just a lot higher than normal. And then there's the test the net type option. See what shows up on here. We're just doing that specific one. open. Nice. Let's see what we get here for the Nintendo Switch. Let's see if anything swapped out. Nope, not type B, e, so we're still type 2. Any changes in download? It's actually pretty good. Better than what we're getting on PlayStation, at least in terms of upload. Best I can tell so far on this update on the router though, is that the latency has gotten better. Like it has dropped down in more into like the twenties on some of the different tests. But other than that though, I haven't seen any changes in that type, um, between any of the different consoles. If you're finding something else different, definitely let me know. I've just been trying to piece together the video for publishing it, but I, I'm not really seeing any major difference happening right now on the update on the router. So otherwise though, thanks for watching. If you know some different updates, definitely know, let me know in the comments down below.